All right, here we are at WonderCon 2014. Here are the photos I took from the three days that I was there. One, two, three, ding, 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 ding. Next up, we have Bioshock Infinity costume over here. Then we have Captain Malcolm Reynolds and Ted. I don't know where this is from. They told me, and then I forgot. But it's cool, isn't it? Then we have the Fallout video games over here. Check out those shoulder pads. Then we have some very unique Avengers costumes here. And over here we got friends on the other side with Dr. Facilier. Next up we have the Red Hood. What's under there? Scott Pilgrim vs. the World costumes over here. I originally thought this was from the Fifth Element, but then I saw her lightsaber. She's actually from Star Wars. The Medieval Shredder costume. Then we have some Dark Knight costumes on display over here, so I took these photos. Next up, we have the characters from the Lego movie over here. I am so pumped up! Now, I'm glad I wore that shirt today because I went to this Star Wars picture booth and took this picture. Perfect, isn't it? Gambit and Rogue. The way it ought to be. Look at those boots. I wonder how he made those boots, or if he made those boots. I should have asked him. In the background, you'll notice Captain Hammer from the Dr. Horrible sing-along blog. We have Bane, the original, from Batman. We have Robocop and the T-1000, two figures on display here. Next up, we have the Xena Warrior Princess costume over here. You remember that show? It was a weird show, wasn't it? It was fun, though. We have Jack Frost and Elsa from Frozen. Jack Frost is from Rise of the Guardians. Then we have Harley Quinn and Deadpool together. I asked her, how does Deathstroke feel? She said he doesn't. Dennis Nedry from Jurassic Park. We got Dots in here. Doc! Doc! Bishop, I went too far back in time. I went to a panel Friday night, and they had several professional wrestlers doing the panel and talking about their careers, how they broke into their careers. I mean, it seems like people commonly believe that professional wrestlers only know Anglo-American wrestling. But in reality, these guys had a lot of hard work that they had to go through, and they had to learn about acting and filmmaking before they entered their career in Anglo-American professional wrestling. So from right, the far right is John Morrison. Next to him is Chavo Guerrero Jr. Behind him is Rampage Jackson. Behind him is Mayhem Miller. On the far left, that's the actor Richard Hatch. He's also an acting coach. And in the front of all of them, those are the Winter Twins. They are young professional writers. They write and sell their own sci-fi novels, and they're very smart. This costume is actually an original costume. It belongs to her series that she had on display at her booth in the exhibit hall. Next up, we have Dr. Octopus versus several DC superheroes. In the back, you'll see Deadpool, and there's Deathstroke there, too. And then they took another picture. This time, Green Lantern stepped in and joined them. Hey, I didn't notice it until now. That costume says Light Beard. <laughs> To infinity and beyond, Disney bought Star Wars, so, you know, of course a picture like this had to happen sooner or later. The Count with a medieval night glove, Rufio from Hook, Jay and Silent Bob, Snoogans, Wolverine, Lady Loki, and Captain America. Now, that guy in the Wolverine costume had adamantium claws on a different day, and as you can see, those claws look pretty authentic. So I asked him, are those claws, like, glued on you or something? He revealed me the secret, but I'm not going to share that secret with you. A cinema makeup school was doing some sample makeup to display and gain some attention over for their booth. These are just two of their amazing samples. Powder Toast Man, Harley Quinn, Catwoman, and another Batman villain. It's Animaniacs, a zany to the max. R. Uh, uh. Characters from Star Wars over here. I don't know where they're from. I didn't ask them. If somebody could tell me, I'd love it. I thought this was Lady Deathstrike, but it's actually from an anime called Lust. I obviously don't watch it, but now I'm curious. Now, somebody else had a big lightsaber, big double lightsaber with him. He was nice enough to let me try it out, and he took several pictures. Boom, 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 boom. Michonne. You see, this is what I like about WonderCon a little bit more than Comic-Con. The fact that people don't take their costumes that seriously. They actually make the costumes, and they have fun making the costumes, and they have fun displaying them, you know? It's like, unless you're in the masquerade, have fun with your costume. Don't take it that seriously. 
So you can see they all, the three of them, they had fun with this, right? We have Freddy Krueger and Jason for the third day of WonderCon. Then I went over to the Nintendo booth, played some Mario Kart 8 on the new Wii U. Actually, since the game isn't out yet, they had us play the demo version. But we got to play it on the Wii U nonetheless, and I got to take this picture. Oh, <laughs> now I'm really racing. This prop and those people, Corbin Dallas and Lilo Dallas, multipass. Then we have Michonne's blade on display. Actually, it was for sale. The seller was willing to negotiate a price with me, but I chose not to take it because, believe it or not, it even though it's a replica blade of the props that they used in the show, it is a sharp blade. So I was afraid that it could get in the hands of the wrong person and become extremely dangerous. Regardless, the seller let me take these pictures. Ooh, now I'm a boss. Life Aquatic with Steve's a Sue. The Life Aquatic with Steve's a Sue. The Life Aquatic with Steve's a Sue. I went up to the second floor, took this picture, and as you can see, it's not as crowded as San Diego Comic Con. I went to the third floor, the highest we're allowed to go, and took this picture. Kind of freaks me out to take this picture because I, I chose not to go too far to the railing in fear that I could drop my phone or drop my whole body. E now, I originally looked at the hair and thought this was Kazuya from Tekken, but... Then I saw the whole costume. He's actually Phoenix Wright from Ace Attorney. Finally, Lady Loki. I could tell she took a lot of pictures already because I asked her for the picture and she said, I suppose. That's the thing cosplayers have to keep in mind is that they're going to take a lot of pictures that day. Now, I still have one more picture. I don't know if I should share it or not. It'll tear you apart. All right, I'll share the picture. Tommy Wiseau was at WonderCon! Yay! Tommy Wiseau! I took a picture with Tommy Wiseau! That's WonderCon 2014 for you. If you get the opportunity to go to WonderCon, absolutely go. If you get the opportunity to go all three days, go all three days. It's worth it. Unless you don't like to walk around that much.